I think that I've always had a really big curiosity about everything that I looked at. And one of my favorite lines to people is that, especially in shooting film, which you'd understand, is that it always looked like 36 people had the camera for every roll of film, because everything interests me. I'm mostly interested in the light and the light reflecting off of anything. So there's always something that just catches my eye and I go with it. And there are certain subjects that I think we always go back to. I feel like as artists, we're probably always making the same image over and over and over again, trying to work it out, but just in different uh, formats. When I walk into a room, the first thing I see is always the light. If there's a beam of light, I'm on it. And I have been drawn to water all my, all my life and all of my career. Um, I'm a scuba diver, but I don't know that I've ever actually photographed a fish or a fish underwater, but you know, give me a model underwater and I'm really happy. And the light underwater is so spectacular, so being underwater with the light is fabulous. but also just wetting everything, people, places, uh, the flowers, anything, because they reflect back. It's an adds another mystery, it's another layer. I, I love looking through wet, foggy windows. Maybe it makes them feel better when you put beautiful warm water on somebody. So it's a feeling, all of it's a feeling. The photographs are about feelings, light and feelings. I am drawn to images with multiple layers or multiple meanings, but I want the viewer to have their meaning to it. I want them to bring their emotion to it because we don't look at art or anything as it is. We look at it as we are. We come to every, every image that we view with our own set of judgments, our own history, our own connected, you know, what we've connected to it. So, uh, it's funny because I use all the veils and things often, and it's not that I have anything to hide. I'm, I'm pretty much a, I'm a very open person, but the veils and stuff add like another layer of mystery and it allows somebody to take themselves into that space. You know, so many things spark images for me. It could be, you know, it could be hearing a lovely piece of music will, send something in my mind, which is just, there's a fluidity to music. I think that fluidity probably shows up in most of my images, no matter what the subject matter is. It has to like flow like a beautiful haiku poem. I mean, it's, those are the things that come at me that result in images. They just come from seeing, just seeing things in a different way. I think if you don't have ideas in photography, and they're everywhere, every, everything is open to interpretation. And if you don't have ideas in photography and you're not willing to put out your point of view, then it's going to be another just uninteresting photograph. It's not going to last. I think to make images last and go beyond that first glance, you have to have a point of view about the subject. You have to ask some questions. The viewer has to bring their uh, interest to it and their history to viewing it. I'm really happy about what the photo gods give me. I, I, in the dark room, I don't make two images that look alike. And when I'm shooting, I love that little bit of surprise. I love that thing that just kind of came in on the corner or I love just, just, just that little accident that we might call an accident, but you know, Chance favors the prepared mind. So it's not an accident. You know, you you see it and you, you were, again, aware enough to push the button at that moment. This, this idea that you need to have the best equipment and the newest and latest and the greatest, yes, there are advantages to it, but 
I'm, I'm, I love that old stuff, and I, I just don't think that's where the images come from. I think they come from our heart, and they come from our soul, and they come from being a great observer in life, and they happen in a moment. Images, to me, happen in a split second. They really do, you know, Cartier-Bresson, the decisive moment. Yes, 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 it's a moment. It's a moment in time, and you have to be ready for it because you can't go back, it's another picture. If you go back again, the next one, it's something else. Mm -hmm.